There are a couple of things I would like to highlight here. We have AI proliferating our lives. So many tools out there to do things for yourself, to do things for the society, for the business and so on. There is still a lack of trust in these AI solutions. So once you put a solution in front of people, there's this apprehension like, is this really trusted? What is it based on? Is there some harmful suggestions coming out there? And that's one of the biggest challenges I face uh, solving problems for businesses as well. One thing that's helped is just digging deeper into why an AI tool is suggesting what it's suggesting, like what's happening under the hood and how useful or useless that is. And then explaining that uh, from a human's point of view to the stakeholders, to the people who are actually going to use these AI tools, these AI products, just helping them understand from a human's point of view of what part of this should be trusted and what should not be trusted. Uh, that's worked out uh, well for me so far. Also, uh, quality assurance, regulations, compliance, uh, all of them are catching up uh, really fast to these AI tools. So I'm hoping that a lot of this uh, building trust in AI tools and making sure that we are using them in the right way will just go on and become easier as we go. There's another one that I would like to add, which is just about the representation of women in the data and AI fields, uh, not as much as you might see in the other fields of uh, you know career or other fields of technology. So that's one reason I continue to keep pushing forward to make sure we have enough representation. So any solutions that we are designing for larger population also has a voice and representation, uh, making the solutions just more inclusive.